right, the epilogue last time. Darling! You and Selene, stay back! Well, maybe you can explain this, Wrath. What the hell is happening to me? Why am I seeing these things? When homunculi go rogue. At the inside of my skull. And why are you there? Why do I remember you, Bradley? Tell me! Why did you destroy <laughs> my <Selene's> face? <laughs> You're a foolish pack rat clinging to garbage greed. Quit craving the past. One thing that's crazy about this is I don't remember Bradley ever losing his cool. But now you have greed slash Lang entering his house and he's freaking out. I guess because that's one thing he actually cares about. Bastard! Oh no, you messed up. Yeah. Don't take your eye off Bradley. Eyes. It's amazing he can hold his own. Much better than last time. But not by much. Damn. What? Are you are you kidding me? Ultimate armor. Damn, that was cool. Fuhrer Bradley! Madam Bradley, are you and Salim all right? You guys failed big time. You're fired. I'm terribly sorry. Salim is always fine. He overpowered the security patrol. Yes, I'm not surprised. He came close to overpowering me. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's so sinister. The mom, I guess the mom doesn't know. He can't show his show his true form. That's why he wasn't fighting. Meanwhile, in Father, Happy Land, <laughs> I demand you retire. Is that Mr. Armstrong? Thank you for your concern, but I plan to make Alex my. Is that piano girl? Piano you throwing girl? Sniveling jellyfish. Would you truly be able to relax, leaving things to him? Damn. But she's trying to protect her father, right? She's trying to get rid of him. Olivia. I didn't know you had planned to visit. Oh, Alex, perfect timing. Oh? Engage your sister in combat. Huh? The victor shall earn my title as head of the family. Do you find this acceptable, there. Olivier? Yes. Seems Olivier reasonable. Olivier insists that I retire and take a sojourn in a foreign land. She what? Read between the lines. For shame. Read between You're the lines. Me no choice. <laughs> I mean, you were going to do that anyway. Let's not lie to ourselves. Your bloated muscles are worthless without a spine. Shall we prepare for our risk? Yes. Someone throw a piano at them. Damn, Alex is getting his ass kicked. No. It's because he's too nice. No take backs, Alex. Are you trying to kill me? What tipped you off, moron? <laughs> Try to hang in there, Alex. <laughs> They're used to it. Just another day in the what Armstrong household. Years should we bring back for them? Statues seem the most fitting. Large and solid statues. Well, in that case, I want a statue too, then. <laughs> Everyone gets a statue. We're the Armstrongs. <laughs> I mean, you could do a lot worse. Heading the household than Olivier. Olivier. Why have you become so convivial with the senior officers? How can you? The senior staff is in league. I can determine their complicity with my own eyes. And what have your eyes seen? Have you exiled mother and father to a foreign land so they can't be taken hostage? There you go. Reading between the lines, Get finally. Out, after a huge fight. My mansion with your cowardice. I have so many mixed emotions about this scene. <laughs> On the one hand, it's a really great touch. It's a really fun scene having them fight each other. And you can tell Olivier is doing what she thinks is best for the family. This is not just about power. On the other hand, I feel so bad for Alex getting his ass kicked by his sister. And then the fact that she treats him like a disgrace when, to me, he's like the sweetest man and the best man of all time. <laughs> I feel like they could be great allies if they weren't bickering. Maybe on some level, Olivier is worried about him too. Like, she could easily involve him in this, but I mean, she's kind of in deep. Like, she's risking her whole life. And that whole thing was about her getting her family to safety. So he's the younger brother, right? So that would make some sense. And then it's really weird and funny having that fight follow the Bradley greed fight because that was so heavy and serious and this is so like hilarious but also now Armstrong knows that his sister's involved and I feel like that's extra impetus for him to you know get involved himself she's still around and envy you're walking straight towards the edge of town and there's nothing but desert for hundreds of miles well I I'm traveling back to my own country oh yeah yes I'm from Xing. Across the desert? She's done it before. She can handle it. A crowd forms. Hand over any extra food. Wow. You don't need to- Hey, don't worry about it. 
Why don't you leave tomorrow? Stay the night and get some good rest. You're more than welcome to use our bath. We can make you some dinner. See, I feel like this is gonna make it even harder for her to leave a mistress. You don't eat people, do you, kitty? <laughs> you see? She said you look delicious. <laughs> they sure are nice, huh? And you don't even want to help them? Well, that's probably for the best. I do wonder, what's your emperor gonna think when you hand over a half-dead homunculus? I doubt it's going to do your clan much good. When Envy accidentally helps out a mistress. But you could go to Central. I mean, that's where you can learn the true way to gain immortality. Okay, here's the trick. Why should you care if they live or die anyway? It's not like it's your country or anything. Yeah, I mean, all that is true, except for the part about going to Central. Like I said before, you know, it's understandable why she wants to help her family. But there's something weird about leaving people behind when that's the danger that you see, you know? She really could make a big impact in Amestris. And even though we think of countries and boundaries, it's sort of an arbitrary distinction. If these people are in as great a danger as it seems they're in, you can do good by staying. The only thing that complicates that for me is if she's directly worried about her family. You know, that makes sense. But the whole, like, it's not my country thing, that's kind of arbitrary. It doesn't really have any meaning. Because they're people all the same. And these are people that she now has connections to. Thank you so much for your kindness! Wait, where are you going? I've gotta get back to Central! I've got some unfinished business! Yeah, yeah. Idiot, I'm gonna stuff you in a jar once we get to Central. I just need a Philosopher's Stone. After that, I'll be whole again. Just wait till I get a stone. Yeah, I feel like you should do this, but Full not do what Envy's saying. That's a beautiful screen. Hey, there's nobody here! Yeah, you really know your brother. We've busted our tails for hundreds of miles for an empty house. <laughs> they can smell even in human form? Is that... oh. Kling. I mean, greed. <laughs> he hasn't changed very much. Oh, well, that did the trick. Thanks, Edward. You're too kind. It's amazing that you're not a giant fat ass. <laughs> what the rations. hell? <laughs> Are you gonna introduce me to your pals? Well, that's Mr. Gorilla. My name's Darius. And I'm Heinkel. Mr. Gorilla and Mr. Lion. Got it. And what are you doing here? I thought you'd be in Central. Well, to put it lightly, Greed had a falling out with the other homunculi. So I took advantage of his confusion and managed to regain control of my body. That is crazy. He's starting to fight back. Uh, hey! Uh, no, 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 no! Fight him back, nah, you idiot! Don't let him sure that helps, you. But okay. The one that they call their father. He's gonna open the portal. On the day of reckoning. I could be wrong about this. But I think you and Al should jump in when he does. It's the best chance you have to get your bodies back. <laughs> Wait a minute. That makes sense and everything, but... There's does it? <laughs> it must be paid to even open the portal. <laughs> and why? Why is he opening the portal? Yeah, why? That's it for me. This is gonna be awkward. Well, see you later. What does he do in his free time? And I don't really work well with others, so it's probably for the best. And that's that. Why don't you team up with us? Hmm? What else do you have going on? You've got nowhere to go. Yeah, exactly. Come with us. Yeah. You want me to follow you? <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. Up yours, kid. This world is <laughs> okay. my possession, not yours. Fair enough. Now it's a different story if you want to follow me. You're welcome to join my team. <laughs> you don't really have much of a team right now. Let's be real. Team up with him? Do I look... <laughs> He's still brooding on it. If you're gonna pout about it, why don't you join up with Ed? He is kind of pouting. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm greed, not Ling. It's too difficult to keep Hard track Hard to keep track, of. yeah. <laughs> I'll just call you Greedling from now on. No, you Greed Ling, that's why people greed. say that. I'll follow you. Huh? I thought about oh, it. Wow. And I've decided to join your team after all. And since these guys seem to follow me everywhere, you've got two Chimeras on your team as well. They're creating the team right now. I've been a follower ever since I became a dog of the military. I lost my pride a while back, so I'm already used to rolling over on command. And besides, there's too much at stake. I can't let any information you've got slip through the cracks. Is that really true though? I feel like Ed has sort of done his own thing this whole time. He's been like, messing with Yoki, and taking field trips, <laughs> and thwarting Bradley. I really can't let my ego get in the way. What a waste. Lose your temper like this and you're gonna lose my information and your brother. <laughs> Alright, kid. 
But working for me means you have to live in the shadows. I don't want to hear any regrets. Give me a break. I've already got a million regrets. What's one more? A million and one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I've still the got earrings. Winry's earrings. I get the feeling I won't be seeing Winry or Al for a while. That kind of sucks. The day of reckoning, huh? The moon again. I've got a message for you from Alphonse and some man named Hohenheim. I see. That sounds like it's pretty serious. Report to headquarters at once! This is Lookout Post B. We're under attack. What? Is it Drachma? We're not Again? sure. How many of them are there? Just one. Just one? Are you sure? <laughs> hey! Are you still there? Point B, who's attacking? A housewife! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Again! She returns to the Briggs. I like how Izumi could do what an entire Drachman brigade couldn't. It's a message from Alphonse Elric. It's about that day, the promised day. Damn, this network though. This is certainly getting interesting. Hello there, Rebecca. Your aim is looking fine, but not nearly as fine as your. No, no, no. What are you doing, General Grumman? People get killed for that in Briggs. It's not fair that you got Colonel Mustang and now the Fuhrer. I think it's time you, if you only knew. up with a nice guy from Central. Here, this is the nicest guy I know. Oh, Hayate, how can your master be so cold-blooded and cruel? Don't doubt me, Riza. I'm going to find a nice guy and quit this lousy job. Is this if code? You say so. Good luck with that. Everything is code. Make sure to tell Lieutenant Havoc I said hello. You got it. See ya. Well, now. There's the code. <laughs> Here you go. Only one per day, though. Oh, thanks, Lieutenant. And I was just about to run out. I'll drop in again soon. Thank you. Oh, Rebecca wanted me to say hello for her. Okay, great. Oh, and tell the Colonel I said hi. Okie doke. And don't smoke those too fast. You heard the lady. She says hi. <sighs> was it really necessary that you hide? She and I are both under constant surveillance. It'll arouse far too much suspicion if I have any private contact with her. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm afraid he's smoking the code. You look like you could use one too, Colonel. No, thanks. I'd better take off. No, well, trust me. You can use this one. Hmm? Right. There it is. No! Is it over? <laughs> what does it say? This network is crazy. For the coming spring, when the promised day arrives, the North and East will make their move. Wow, the resistance. <laughs> yeah, there's like a couple people, right? There's a couple people that we can trust. I mean, it's more than a few people. It's a bunch of people, but it's small relative to the world, relative to the plot. It's really just Ed and Al and their periphery, and then a couple agents in the military like Roy and his people, and Grumman. Um who was very inappropriate this episode, but a lot of optimism in this episode. Like for a while, it's felt like we just have no shot at all because it's all about Bradley keeping everyone under under lock and under control with his various forms of blackmail. But this is a pretty formidable group of people. It's such a great episode, but it's such a weird one too because so much happens. Like it starts out with that amazing battle between Bradley and Ling, Greedling. Then we get like a more comical battle with Alex and Olivier which had a lot of subtext, I think. Then Ed and Greedling teaming up, which is kind of strange. And also the pain of thinking that actually they might not come together again for a long time, meaning Ed and Al and Winry. And then we find out that this is happening in the spring, which maybe has something to do with lunar cycles. There's something celestial going on in this whole plan. That was sort of Fornheim's message last episode to Al, was look up. And we got the sun god Leto, sort of as a symbol of that, I think. So things are in motion for Father, but things are also in motion for the protagonists and the resistance, I'll call them. So it's very exciting. And as I've said, it does really feel like this is the end game now. We're all here. Even Havoc is here. Havoc's back. I'm definitely ready. I'm so excited for what's to come. Yes. I was about to say you should burn that. He had to do it in a really cool way, behind his back. Oh, that was it? <laughs> I love how the whole purpose of that end credit scene was just allowing Roy to do a cool behind the back move. Not complaining, it was cool. So that's the end of episode 45. I'll see you guys next time for what I'm sure will be another amazing episode.